Because otherwise, you know, what we're seeing from Chisora is, if you aren't an elite heavyweight, you will get beat by Chisora. Unfortunately, the elite guys are beaten. Um, devastated for Jack Cullen, you know, sad Joe, beautiful body shot. I thought Jack was boxing really, really nicely. Respect to him for taking that fight. Good win for Zelfa Barrett, you know, after a tough year, his mother passing away. Lerone Richards, I mean, you know, I know he get criticism, it was a bit of a boring fight, but he has just beaten Carlos Gongora, top 10 super middleweight. He was a, um, an underdog in that fight. Uh, Babic, probably shouldn't have boxed tonight, COVID four weeks ago, wasn't probably fit enough, but nearly come on stuff in a very exciting fight. Uh, David Naika looked very spiteful. Jordan Thompson ready to step up now. Good wins for Rhiannon Dixon and Sandy Wright. What well, did you make of the scorecards of the main event, Eddie? Because Chisora would have won on some of them. Yeah, no, I, I don't see it. I mean, I thought look, Chisora nicked rounds because of his work rate, but he got put down three times. You know, so 116, 111, I think was one of them, 117. That, that's, that's about right for me. I can't see 114, 112, because as you say, without the knockdowns, you give Chisora the fight, and, and I don't think that would have been right. Bubba Chip Bridgewick next? I think he needs to be, you know, and again, he wasn't the best Alan Babbage tonight, but again, he's 10-0 and 0 with 10 knockouts. So, we're all very critical, aren't we, of, of people who are winning, but the difference is you've got to win well and you've got to win in exciting fights. Last one, what's next, Eddie, with the pandemic and everything? Are we going to have those shows in January? Well, we'll have to see what happens in uh, January. Uh, I think it could be unlikely that boxing takes place in January. That's just my hunch and no, no, no science behind that. But we'll see what happens over the next week or so. Eddie, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, mate. Eddie, Eddie um, Self Barrett, great win for Tim tonight. Uh, any chance of him fighting Kiko Martinez for the world title? Uh, no, because uh, that, that's down at Featherweight. So, you know, unless Kiko Martinez, sorry, unless Zelfa cuts off one of his legs, he ain't going to make uh, nine stone. But, you know, he's now positioned well for the Agawa fight. So is Joe Gordina, and we'll see what they do next. Big win for Rihanna Dixon tonight and Nicole's charge. Of course, we work close with him. What did you make of her performance? performance? You know, frustrating little period for her because she was supposed to fight in Liverpool, but need to keep her nice and active next year. And, you know, she's a good young talent. And um, big win for Sandy Ryan as well. Yeah, spiteful. Good win for her. Naika looked great. Uh, Jordan Thompson looked really good. Good win for Babbage. Lerone Richards, not the most exciting, but a great victory. Gutting for Jack Cullen to lose to Sajo. And, of course, a brilliant fight, which is Aura Parker. I've heard news that they may be pushing back the Katie Taylor Serrano fight to end of April, May, is that? Yeah, well, it's always going to be April, but we were thinking about maybe pushing it to May, but I think after seeing her tonight, there's a chance that April could still be good to go. Uh, Eddie, yeah, just in terms of the possible opponents for Joseph Parker coming up, I know you mentioned a few in the press conference that ideally, you know, the boxing final, who would you like to see Joseph go against? I like the Hergovic final eliminator. You know, I think that's a really good fight. And the winner obviously gets a big split with the IBF to fight uh, the winner of, of AJ against uh, Usyk. So, you know, it's a big, big fight. Wilder, Ruiz rematch, Luis Ortiz. Loads of fights for Joseph Parker and he's put himself right back in the mix. I don't think there is a, a loser in the fight, really. Both guys gave great Well, there was a loser. It was Derek Chikora. You know what I mean, in yeah. terms of a stop though, because like, Chisora's yeah, stop, Chisora's stop down no, but Ch Everyone respects Chisora so much that his stop won't go down. Exactly. You know, and, and I think, like I said earlier, when you talk about fighters going out on their shield, he is the epitome of that. People can talk about, I'd rather get knocked out than get beat, but he is that guy. And that's why you saw the crowd that you saw tonight, the atmosphere, and people have got a lot of respect for him. And like you mentioned, Joseph Parker starts to show more spite, more aggression. Yeah, good punch, very hard. I, mean, I don't know how many uppercuts he hit Derek Chisora with. Yeah, that but, was you know, it was it? probably 30. Um, but, you know, big win, he's put himself right back on the world scene. Eddie, how much does De Deontay Wilder versus Chisora excite you, the potential build up? It does, but, you know, I mean, as I said, all Chisora's losses have come at elite level. So, and, and Deontay Wilder is an elite. Have, listen, Chisora can beat Deontay Wilder. He hits him with, with a big shot. If he, I tell you what, if that fight goes four rounds, Chisora wins that fight. But he's got to get past four rounds. And that's going to be really dangerous against someone that punches as hard as Deontay Wilder. Is it possible to taking Chisora to the US? Yeah, maybe. Look, I think we're all talking about his next fight. I mean, he just got beat in a really tough fight. He went down three times. Um, so let's give him a nice Christmas. Congratulations on your 44 shows. Thank you, mate. Eddie. Just quickly on David Nika. Yeah. What is his future? Because there was a huge fight for him as well. Yeah, it was good. I mean, look, he, obviously the opponent needs to be better, but he's still learning. He's still a novice in the pro ranks. Um, but looked great. Very spiteful. Obviously talented. Olympic medalist, so has a big profile as well. Great trainer in Andy Lee, if that, that relationship continues. And I'd like to see him, you know, back on a match show early next year. And how superhuman is Chisora to survive that? I mean, 
Parker was punching really hard tonight, and he's not thrown with those kind of intentions for a long time. In fact, he's almost looked a little bit gun shy. But when he's sinking them in like that, you know, chisora has got an amazing chin, and um, you know, he's. I can't believe the fight went 12 rounds. I, you know, after the third round, I thought that fight was over. So um, big respect to him and, and big respect to Joseph. Thank you. Eddie, Eddie said yesterday, last night, that we all want to talk to Team Roma about the fight in the uh, any news for us? Yeah, I spoke to him last night. Um, you know, he talks about 135 and 140, and I, I sort of said, Are you sure you can make 140? He's like, yeah, he sounded really focused. So talks continue. I think he may want to fight first at 140, February, March, something like that, and then see if we can make the Conor Ben fight, but we'll, we'll see. What's the situation? Is he still with PBC? Or what I mean, you? I don't believe he has a contract or anyone, well, he doesn't. Yeah, so no. So it should be easy enough to make that fight? Uh, easy enough if you got the, the money. Eddie, can we see Chisora against Pulev number two? Uh, he should have won the first fight, really, Chisora. But you know, Pulev, yeah, possibly. I mean, um, it all depends how much money he wants. You know, we paid him very well for the Joshua fight, so we'll see. What do you think of Kubra and Pulev? A oh, good guy, good guy, good fighter. Um, you know, quite exciting still, and a very tough man. Can you face Joseph Parker next week? Uh, maybe, maybe. If he's out of the triad or whatever it's called. Is he closer to the yes or to the no? Closer to the no. Would you be interested in signing Adrian Broner regardless of this contract situation? Yes, yes. Do you think that? Do you think it's going to be possible or do you think the money could be Yeah, I mean look, he's approached me for me to sign him. But it's all going to come down to money, as always with AB, about billions. It won't be about billions, but it'll be about millions. Actually, actually, someone else that is looking to get signed up is Linda North. It seems like he's going to be three. Is that someone that you're Yeah, I think about? he signed with Probella. Okay. Yeah. Quick prediction on the YouTube fight tonight. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Tyrone Woodley, I don't think he's fit or in shape. I mean, listen, well, actually, let's not say he's not in shape because I don't think we can comment about that. <laughs> but not in the shape he was, obviously, for the first fight. So I actually think Jake Paul would bust up. Eddie, what did you make of the um, it's a bit controversial at the end of the Jake Cullen fight and the celebrations in the ring? What did you make?